Welcome, my name is Emila Bojona and over the past few months I've been able to make a couple thousand dollars working for foreign businesses from the comfort of my home. As you can see, I'm doing this video from the comfort of my home and in this crash course you're going to be learning what type of business this is, the basics of the business, one of the skills that can actually set you apart that can make you as much as one thousand dollars on the internet also you're also going to be learning uh, about uh, freelance platforms and how to open one of these freelance platforms that you can use to get foreign businesses to work with you i'm also going to be showing you any proofs of myself and other freelancers that have used this method to get gigs and work for foreign businesses i'm also going to show you one method that you can use to get foreign jobs at the end of this video i'm going to introduce you to a program that can help you fast track the whole process instead of you to just um, get the knowledge that you'd have here and just go into the freelance world i'm trying to figure it all out by yourself i'm going to recommend a step-by-step -step program that is going to help you to fast track the whole process now because you have heard this it will not be right for you to skip to the very end of this video as that would not do you any good and you'll be missing out on the information that you'll be getting within the uh, minutes in this video so i implore you to watch this video step by step minute by minute till the very end of the video so that you can get uh, the information that you really really need to get started as a freelancer that hands one thousand dollars to two thousand three thousand dollars every month on the internet now you can do this even if you do not have a skill you can learn a skill i'll show you how you can learn a skill and if you have a skill this is also going to help you because uh, if you have been working for Nigerian businesses, then you know how frustrating it is to work for Nigerian business with a low pay for your premium skill that you have. With this uh, webinar, I'm going to show you how to look for foreign businesses. And at the end of the webinar, I'm also going to recommend the same product for you that's going to help you with templates that you can use to target foreign businesses, how you can really, really go in depth in searching for foreign businesses to work with. So. I hope you stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to this channel as i also share uh videos on how to make money on the internet different videos on how to make money on the internet and some of the um, skills that you would need as a freelancer also like this video so that other people so that it would rank in the algorithm and also subscribe to this channel so i'll see you inside the webinar and let's get started Welcome again. As I mentioned before, my name is Ivida Bojona and I am going to be recording this webinar on my phone to drive home a point that there are a lot of things that you can do on your smartphone that you are yet to find out. So what are you going to be getting for this webinar? This webinar is the basic of freelancing, how you can make at least $1,000 per month working for foreign businesses from the comfort of your house. So these are the things that you're going to be learning from the webinar. What is freelancing? Who a freelancer is the evolution of work and how freelancing came to be about remote work and stuff freelance terms and you're also going to be showing you i'm also going to be showing you a basic content writing skill that you can learn i'm also going to be showing you the basics of linkedin how to create a portfolio and i also go to at the end of this webinar recommend a program for you the high paid freelancer premium program I'm also going to show you the results of others and the community that this program that I'm going to recommend for you as with over 2,000 paid students. So without further much ado, let's get into this webinar. I'm going to try my best and keep this webinar below a certain time so that you don't have to watch and watch and watch and get confused. And all through this webinar, I'm going to be doing the recording on my phone so here we go what is freelancing basically freelancing means working as an independent contractor for different businesses now to give you an example of what this really is you know the plumber that comes to fix your kitchen sink and those all type of jobs are with pipes in your house 
you do not pay this plumber based on salary you give him based on the job that he has done for you so this is how you get paid as a freelancer you are paid based on the jobs that you do for these different businesses but this time you're not a plumber you're a person with a digital skill and it's this digital skill that you used to offer these foreign businesses that will pay you in return let me use the electrician as an example again the electrician comes to fix your fan fix your light bulbs and fix every other thing concerning electric electricity in your house you do not pay him salary you pay him based on his work that he has done for you he charges you based on his work so this is how you charge people too and this electrician also has freedom to work for different other households you to have the chance to work for different other business so this brings us to who a freelancer is so i just described in what freelancing is a freelancer is an independent contractor who works for different businesses and is not tied to any of them so your electrician is not tied to you you do not pay him salary so he doesn't come to your house to stay from money to night and go home back and you pay him salary at the end of the month he just comes and fix your stuffs and go to another place where he goes to fix another stuff this is the same thing you do as a freelancer if you're a copywriter if you're a copywriter that is a freelancer you just write copies for one business and move on to the next business to write copy if you're a content marketer you just do your content for that business for the month and you move on to another business to do your content if you're a digital marketer you just create the ads and monitor it and do it for several other businesses so this is the freedom that you have as a freelancer the evolution of work over the years there have been an increase in the amount of calls to allow people to work from their houses and with that the invent of the internet it became easier for people to do work from the comfort of their houses. why did i say with the invent of the internet it became easier for people to do work from the comfort of their houses the reason is because the internet brought about different tools the email um, workspaces and a lot of other internet tools that you can use to work remotely anywhere you are in the world with the email you can communicate with your your uh, ceo you can communicate with your general manager you can communicate with a lot of people with tools like slack you can have a workspace where your work uh colleagues and you can just communicate online without having to be in a physical building and also a physical building has cost these businesses a lot of money as they lose money for buying fuel like recently first bank decided to cut some of his staff because of the prices of this diesel went over the roof so it all got better during the lockdown as well because when companies finally allowed most of their staffs to work from home and even laid some up some people off who were not too valuable to them during the lockdown even your auntie lost her job your uncle lost his job different other people lost their job because this company realized that uh, why would we bring so many people inside this office to work and we'll be paying um, some of the companies even pay leads and they'll be spending money on lease whereas they can get a small office that's why a company like kuda decided not to have a fiscal office around nigeria kuda is a microfinance bank a lot of microfinance banks have fiscal offices where they pay lease every year but kuda decided that okay we want our staff to work from the house and they will not have to will not have to pay lease and have a lot of overhead costs so as a freelancer your job you can do the job of four people conveniently from your house and Companies already employ four different people to do that particular type of job. So instead of them to employ four people, they choose to employ one person that can do all the four type of jobs from the comfort of their home and not having to worry about um, some other allowances because some companies actually pay allowances for transport and stuff like that. But if you're working for foreign businesses, everything that you're doing is in your house. Nobody cares if you're from Nigeria. They just want you to do the work get the work done for them and give them results so as a freelancer with a digital skill because for you to be a freelancer you need to dig, you need to have a digital skill so as a freelancer that has a digital skill your work is to produce results and get paid for the different businesses that you work with so there are some freelance terms that i would want you to really really understand terms like portfolio contracts gigs speech and proposals let's just start with portfolio so what is a portfolio portfolio means a collection of jobs you have successfully completed this is one of the most important things if you are looking to start a career in freelancing as it is asked for most frequently instead of a certificate nobody cares about your certificate every business wants to know okay what type of jobs have you done which type of jobs have you done before this one that's where portfolio comes in so as a beginner how do you even get a portfolio Later in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get a portfolio 
if you have not done any other jobs before, if you just learnt a skill from the program that I would recommend to you and you just want to get started, even the program is going to teach you how to get a portfolio, we call it a mock-up portfolio. This is going to make the business that you want to work with trust you and eventually give you the gig. So contract, contract are agreement between you and your client because you want to work for. This, this um, contract are agreement between you and your client and business you want to work for. Before anything should start, you must have a written agreement. This is to protect you against any unforeseen circumstances that might occur in the course of the work you will be paid to carry out. Okay, let me show you. Let me let me give you an instance. My friend, my friend did a gig last month. He got a gig, and this gig was from somebody in Dubai. The person was to do a lead generation gig with LinkedIn. So my friend started the job without a proper documented contract. Usually, the contract we use is you pay me fifty percent down payment and you pay me 25 percent for the first draft and you pay me 25 percent at the ending of the job so my friend collected all the money and he did not protect himself from the job stating that once he started the job the fee is unrefundable so my friend was halfway into the job about one week two weeks into the job and this person that gave him the job pulled the plug and is asking for a full refund because my friend does not have a contract it is difficult to dispute the case and that has been like an issue for this past few days. The next one is gigs. Gigs is another term for jobs. Let me just go back and tell you. So if you want to get a contract, you need to get a contract for any work, any person that you're working for. You need to secure yourself, your own hand first before you continue any job. The next one is gigs. Gigs is just a term for jobs. What we call job here, Americans call it gigs. Is the same thing. Next one is pitch and proposal. This is the interesting part of the whole thing. To get gigs, you have to send proposals to prospects. Proposals are just messages telling businesses how you can help them and getting them to book a call with you. To send a proposal, you can send a code DM, code email, and stuff like that. And the pitch, pitch is selling prospects on your service by laying out the benefits and the semi-step guide of how you work and your work ethic. This is going to enable the prospect, uh, the prospect decide whether or not to work with you. So if you want your prospect to work with you, you have to get a clear and concise pitch. A proposal can be like educating them on what you can do for them and the series of work that you can do for them. Okay, basic content writing course. So I just want to show you how easy it is to do content writing and content marketing. There are things that you need to understand when you want to do this. The first is content research, the next is tools, and the next is the work that you'd actually do to put down, put together this content that you want to write. So for this, I'm going to use the Google search engine, and I'm going to be using my notes as a tool, and I'm going to be using a tool called Quillboat, and I'm going to put together contents that is going to be compelling for anybody to read so let's say somebody asks me to create a content about um, pajamas yeah let's say content about pajamas that's like an absurd thing like how, how, why would you tell me to create a content about pajamas but you would not say I don't know anything about pajamas now the first thing you want to do is to do content research about pajamas so for you to do the content research about pajamas all you have to do is go to your chrome browser i'm using my phone so that you see how easy like this is so you go to your chrome browser and you tap on everything to know about pajamas so go it's going to load up so you see 10 things you didn't know about pajamas 10 interesting facts about pajamas ninth tire sleepwear 10 things you need to know about pajamas do you know facts about pajamas so this is like contents that you need to create that you want to create so want to create content about pajamas so 10 things that we need to know about pajamas is let's see pajamas are originally only for the rich and royal it is spelled pajamas and not pajamas okay but this is like English. The great debate, not really, but your old English teacher would appreciate you getting. So we don't want to subscribe to this. So I'll leave that. Appreciate you getting the right words, pajamas used in America. Was it always spelled that way? In fact, in Australia and 
England, they are still pyjamas. Americans, they like to change words. So pyjamas didn't exist until 200 years later. Sleepwear is not just for sleeping in. Wearing clothes from bed to brunch. Japan started an animal cosplay pyjamas craze. Okay, like these are contents that you can create. Another way to get... This is like a content research that we're doing here. So the next content research that I want to do, we're well, still looking at pyjamas. I'll have to open a new tab and I'll try to make this a desktop site so that I don't get issues. So I want to talk about a tool that you can use to do your content research and it's called Answer the Public. Answerthepublic.com. So you can go to answerthepublic.com. This is like a skill that people use to make money on the internet answer the public.com i want to just type in the keyword which is pyjamas and we'll go to next so you're going to see like a lot of things that you can write on so you see what pyjamas keeps you cool what pyjamas does the queen wear how many pyjamas for baby how many pyjamas do you need like this is a content idea let's say it's an instagram post you want to write on so let's see pyjamas is or her pyjamas is from which country okay pyjamas with shorts pyjamas pocket so we'll just choose any of this as a content idea for us to write on pyjamas and dressing gown sets this is a free tool but you can have a paid fashion as well so pyjamas is borrowed from which country so let's see want to write about facts we'll just go to that former website on that talks about 10 things you need to know about pyjama so this is a website and but we don't want to copy everything that is here what do we do if we know if we want to shorten our time we we'll would go to a tool called quillboat so we want to talk about five facts about pyjamas right I'll first of all go to my notes. This is my notes. Let me see my notes. I'll go to my notes. Sorry about that. Then um, I want to talk about. Um, I don't know. My notes is not on portrait. I cannot flip my notes. So I'm, I'm going to use Google. Let me use Google. Let me get on Google Docs. I use a Google Docs, yeah, so that I would make it easier for you. Let me use a Google Docs. Okay, Google Docs can flip. This is just to make you understand that there are a lot of things that you can do with your phone, and you have been sleeping on it. So we go to new documents. So I want to talk about like you want to write about pajamas. I want to title this document um, Five Amazing Facts." This is a content. We're writing about five amazing facts. Five amazing facts about pyjamas. Yeah. So we'll go like one. What is number one? We are not doing a copy and paste here. So just look at this clearly. We're not doing a copy and paste. Check out what we are doing. So I don't want this tab. I'm going to close it out. And uh, I'm going to go here. So in the Middle Ages, it was only monarchs, so pyjamas are originally for the rich and royal. I want to copy this. You're going to see what we are doing. They say great artist steals and not copy. So we're going to use a, a tool called Quillboat. We're going to use a tool called Quillboat. Quillboat. We want to rewrite. All we want to do is we want to rewrite that um, article that I just copied. So Quillboat is a paraphrasing to that I have. So I visited this page on the 26th of, as you can see, Google is giving me updates. I visited this page on the 26th of um, August to write like a content for somebody. So let's go. We want to rewrite it like a standard rewritten content. So we'll put paste test, we'll tap on paste text. Let's tap on paste text, which is this. We'll tap on it. And as you can see, it has automatically pasted because of what we copied then we'll tap on paraphrase I clearly did not make this a desktop site so let me make it a desktop site so that you'd see it clearly so I have made it a desktop site so as you can see where they said paste text so just if I tap on paste text it automatically pastes what I have I have copied yeah so I'm not signing in 
I'm going to cancel this. I'm not signing in. So it have automatically pasted it there. And see in the Middle Ages, it was only monarchs and those. These are your keyboard to show on your desktop, but, but you can still use your phone. See what it's going to do for me now. See, it have rewritten it. In the Middle Ages, yeah, only monarchs and those of aristocratic origin wore pajamas. This is the original spelling, yeah, during the Middle Ages. They would have large sleeves and be embellished with intricate motifs and patterns, drawing inspiration from Rush, Roman, Asian, and Indian costumes. However, the underprivileged slept with a formless schmuck on. So, as you can see, it rewrote this to the word that I can use. So, for me to carry this on, I just copy it. And this is already eight minutes, and I don't want this to be longer than it already is. So, I'll just copy it. And this is like the first fact about pajamas. So I'll copy it and come to let's say my docs. Yeah, this is where I started writing it. Untitled documents. This is the document I started. So number one, I just copy and paste that rewritten word. So as you can see, we have our five amazing facts about pajamas. Only monarchs and those wore it. And we'll go to next. I go to next number two, and I do the same all through. So. We have done our content research about pajamas using tools like we use tools like um, Quillboat and Answer the Public, and the work was just to rewrite it and put it there. So this is like a basic content writing technique that you can use. But in the program I'm going to recommend to you at the ending of this webinar is going to help you really, really understand the in depth of content writing and copywriting for you to know it in depth and get your skill on the way welcome back this is basic of linkedin so what is linkedin what's the linkedin profile what are the jobs of linkedin and cold what is called dms so without wasting most of the time let me just go to my linkedin app i'll go straight to my linkedin app where is it so this is my linkedin app i'm tapping on it as you can see, my LinkedIn is opening on portrait mode, which is wonderful. So this is my LinkedIn. I already have a few connections here. So this is post people are making. To be successful, you should have started your business in your 20s. Um, is it, this a joke? In the age, this is like a post. So what I do most of the time, I engage with this post. I try to comment and I try to connect with foreigners so that I can get recommended to foreigners alone. Okay, started in two new positions. What LinkedIn does for you is it enables you to go out there and get connections that are really valuable from people that are going to give you gigs, from people that are going to give you gigs. So let's just move forward. LinkedIn is just like any social media platform out there, but the core purpose of LinkedIn social media platform is to connect with businesses and get gigs and jobs that is going to make you a fortune. So let me show you my LinkedIn profile. This is me. This is my LinkedIn. So as you can see, this is my LinkedIn profile, and this is what I do. I'm a Facebook ad specialist, a Google ads specialist, and a content writer. As you can see my name up here. So this is what I do. I have 76 followers and 66 connections on LinkedIn. Over the past one week, 40 people viewed my profile, and I have 487 post impressions. So these are the posts I made. This is my featured post. This is a post I made 15 hours ago. So this is me, my about page. I own a car business, so I wrote that down. I graduated in 2020 University University, and I also have certificates that I linked to my LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn profile, as you can see, copywriting. This is a quiz test that I have taken, an email marketing test, sales management, and I haven't gotten a recommendation yet. These are the influencers that I follow. And these are people that viewed my profile. As you can see, these are people that have viewed my profile. Mohamed MBA Marketing, Kim Jodi. These are people that viewed my profile. Okay, these are people that um, other people also viewed, actually, not my profile. So, they are what we call LinkedIn jobs. Like, these are the most, this is the place where you can get jobs. You can filter it depending on what you want. So, yeah, I see marketing intern, marketing intern, social media marketer, full time, remote, Singapore. One hour ago, easy apply. So, you can apply to any of these jobs by sending a resume, see, full time, easy apply. You can type on easy apply and next. 
so i don't want to upload resume but resume is required if i just stack on upload resume i'd have to find my resume there's my resume so this is my resume i upload it and next do you have knowledge about 3d content animation and game design no i do not do you have knowledge about content marketing yes i do you know about digital marketing yes so do you have experience in b2c marketing preferred yes business customer how many years marketing experience do you have i have three years marketing experience so review so I've review application i've reviewed and i've submitted that is they are linkedin jobs but most of the time application sent now show sure you your skill not now so most of the times these are you get jobs but this is the most important thing linkedin acts like a freelance platform sometimes so you can be able to you can be able to um put out what you do on your profile like if i click on my profile i go back to my profile you're going to see that i have open to work here you're going to see a place for you to put in what you do so this is what i do digital marketers and only recruiters are going to be seeing this information about me immediately i'm actively applying so united kingdom remote digital marketer as well as social media marketer and i am open to work so this is showing on recruiters page like there's a place where recruiters can go and see all of this and they will know that okay this person is really open to work and they can send me an invite or a message so the list is called dms so how do you get cold dms i have to check my network the people that i am connected with i check my network go to manage my network and at top of my connections here yeah? i want to send a code dm now you can see katik rahu i'm looking for people that is connected with as well that can i can work for and make money so i tap on these 500 plus connections and i'll be looking for some people lab systems program manager at google human resource vice president technology so i'm looking for people that are at microsoft this guy is connected with some top guys. So let's just say I want to send a code DM to Zachary Wolf. The first thing to send a code DM is I need to connect with Zachary Wolf and I'll tap on the message. But let me show you how to how you to show when I have connected with Zachary Wolf. So since I have connected with Kathy Rao, he's going to show this long message here. So I'll tap on message and I'll tap I would send the code DM. So the code DM goes like this. It's like A. Hey, what is that his name again? Rao, right? Have you seen this? To send code DMs, you need a, co a copyrighted um, skill. This is going to enable you to get a high open rate because nobody open your, your DMs. There is no way for you to actually get them to um, work with you, right? No way for them to see your message and eventually get to work with you. Have you seen this? So if I will use like... 25% of Facebook advertisers rarely make money out of their ads. What could be the reason? So I'll, I'll write like a full message, a short message that you can read, just trying to get him curious about working with me. So this is how code DM really works. If this was the main course, in the main course, you're going to see a lot of these full-time detailed templates for you to send people. So this is like just how me I send my cold DMs on LinkedIn. And with that said, I think uh, that's it for LinkedIn. So how to create a portfolio how can you create a portfolio as a newbie for me as a facebook ads guy my portfolio is just to screenshot my live ads and just attach it to a file that's my portfolio if you're a creative person if you're a writer a content marketer writing on topics can be your portfolio choosing a topic 
and writing a description on products, choosing a topic to write on, choosing content to write on, just like I did in the content marketing crash course that I just showed you a few details, which is not really, really solid. You're going to get a solid um, content marketing crash course on the program I'm going to recommend to you. So writing something, putting it all together in a file, that can serve as your portfolio. You don't need to know like just pick a topic write on it if you're a content writer pick a topic write on it that's your portfolio if you're a ui ux designer pick a project do it that's your portfolio if you're a graphic designer design graphics choose the graphics that you want to design design some do use templates design that's your portfolio that's how you create a mock-up portfolio then eventually when you start getting jobs uh -huh, then you can be adding them to your main portfolio but this i um, just mentioned now is going to get you jobs as fast as possible so let's just get in to the ending of this webinar that is going to enlighten you to getting your first one thousand dollars this is something that i don't want to do but i'm going to just do it to show you how to get clients to work with how to get foreign businesses to work with. this is how i get clients so so to get clients what i do is i come to google yeah i come to google because Google is like the search engine of the search engine of the world. Like anything that you're looking for, Google get answer and it must answer you. So I come to Google and I want to work with car dealers because I have like a car business and I know a lot of things about cars and I can do ads for car guys. All I have to do is I want to work for car dealers in maybe the UK or the US. All I have to do is I just go to Google and type on car dealers, car dealerships in a particular city in the US, let's say Missouri, yeah, car dealerships in Missouri, and a lot of car dealerships are going to come out, best car dealers, but what I want to check is, I want to check the Google My Bus their Google My Business page, so this is their Google My Business page, as you can see, a lot of car dealers, wow, 355, 323 ratings, like, I want to work with the people that do not have like a lot of ratings because these are the people that can easily answer me because they will be desperate to make sales like this interstate auto sales has like 33 ratings let's get another one let's get another one 261 261 1k 5 okay county city motors have five ratings which is not too good it's 2.6 do i want to work with somebody like this so this is the address and this is the phone number it turns out that this is can be this business can be like a one-man business oh it's not a one-man business so, so i highly recommend coming here first when you are shopping for use but don't waste your time and money at this place this is the worst place of our price and lie to you about the condition of the cars okay we can change that bought a gpf of 16 candidates and messed up sleazy dealers and i'm talking to an attorney to see about possibly finding a lawsuit i thought scamming was illegal Okay, I'm not going to work with these guys. They have like a bad reputation. Let me go to another person. So I'm looking for people to work with. So I'm going to go to where I saw 33, right? Interstate Autos. Interstate Autos. This is their website. Interstate Auto Sales LLC. So these are websites. But I want to just talk to the... They have a small kiosk. I want to talk to like... The person in charge i don't want to talk to anybody here i just want to talk to the person to great cars and the switch driver side window doesn't roll down okay i came into this a uh, few months to talk about someone because they had a black mustang for sale that's what google said they were open and i showed up someone doesn't have a case so i'm going to go to how do i get the decision maker of this business guess see the trick here i'm going to go to linkedin this real linkedin is important here yeah? so let me find my linkedin i'm going to go to linkedin i have a work open here I'm going to go to LinkedIn it's because you have opened LinkedIn. So, what is the name of that car lot? It's uh, Interstate Auto Sales. So, I'm going to I'm going to tap on. I want to go back back. I don't want to manage connections. I want to search. I'll go to Home. So, I want to type Interstate Auto Sales. I'm looking for the decision maker now. It's the decision maker that I want. The decision maker of Richmond, yeah? Is it Richmond? Search. Is it Richmond, Missouri? Okay, manager. That's the auto state sales and service. 
LLC. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. So this is the person I want to talk with. Is a manager owner at Interstate Auto Sales. This is the person I want to talk with. All I have to do is I'm going to send him a connection request here. Yeah? I'm going to send him a connection request and wait. But if I have a tool called Sales Navigator, I can send him a message. Yeah. Now, since I have sent him a connection request, uh, this is to help me talk with him, right? I'm going to go to what is his name? First of all, I'll take I'll take um I take note of his name. So yeah, he doesn't have a name. He doesn't have a name. Kevin O'Leary, no, I don't want Kevin O'Leary. So I don't want this member. Member, let's see. Does it auto sales? It's like a company. One employee. So let's visit the website. I'm going to visit the website. Does it auto sales Richmond? Let me see the same website. This is like how you get clients. These are clients. These are how you look for clients. These are how I look for clients. It takes a while, but I can compile a large chunk of clients. Let me see their website if it's the same with the one I'm seeing on LinkedIn. So no 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 it's not the same this is your website that's sales auto sales llc.com is not of Richmond it does auto sales okay okay let's see if it's the same no it's not the same this is another shop this is in Nicholas View so we don't want in Nicholas View just want okay this is the website don't dream it drive it I press on apply online no, we don't want, we want to talk to the decision maker. We are going down, look for decision makers. We tap on the contact us. Contact us is usually the front desk. We don't want front desk. We want decision makers. So this is your location. But I can still do something here. I can call this number. I'll tell the person, hello, I want to speak. Am I speaking to the owner? I will just go straight. Am I speaking to the owner of Interstate Auto Sales? The person can say, no, I'm not the owner. Okay, get the phone to the owner of Interstate Auto Sales. I have something very important to tell him. This is how to get straight to the owner of the company and you get. So I'm going to copy down this phone number. I'm going to copy down the address. I'm going to copy down the name of the car dealer. So I'm going to do this for, I'm going to do this for other businesses as well. I'm going to do this for other car dealership businesses. Now I'll scroll down again and look for somebody that I can work with. Now you can do this for different okay this is 58 i can work with fairway auto sales fairway auto sales i'll go back to linkedin i try to get like the owner's name fairway auto sales and this video is taking too long this is how you get clients i didn't have this to the webinar but it's like a bonus fairway auto sales So we'll tap on search. Uh, fine. I found him. <laughs> I found the owner of it. Arizona, Missouri. This is Zim. Fairway Auto City and G, the blotcher. All I have to do is connect. Experience owner with demonstrated. We, they like to talk big on LinkedIn. That's something you should have to get used to. So he said, the experience owner with demonstrated history of working with the screen in the sales, automatic reply, public speaking, management, leadership, strong business development program. We like big talk so this is it this is like the logo let me check that logo again if they have a logo I don't think they have a logo so they don't have a website so if you're a website designer this is like a way for you to get these people like very great great website designs for them to pay you money for they can pay you one thousand dollars for a website so this is how you get clients from google this is like my trick of getting clients Finally, it is very important before you become a freelancer to actually have a sellable skill. And this is where I want to introduce you to the iPaid Freelancer Premium Program. Now, what does the iPaid Freelancer Premium Program entail? I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to beat around the bush. I just want to go straight to the point. The iPaid Freelancer Program is a free freelance program that is going to teach you five high income skills how to use Upwork with their app, Upwork Mastery Course. Upwork is actually a freelance marketplace, but that's a small point when it comes to 
selling on the internet, selling your skills on the internet. In this same IP freelancer program, you're going to get the 0 to 2K challenge, which was the initial course and which went for 8,000 naira. But currently, the price is no longer 8,000 naira. Speaking to you today, being the 30th of August, the price of the IP freelancer program is currently 25,000 naira and it's going to go up to 50,000 naira by the 7th of September. 50K by 7th of September. So, you're also going to get how to acquire clients through Facebook. You're also going to get a LinkedIn outbound marketing. So, that's what I did in the cold DM previously. That's LinkedIn outbound marketing. You're also going to get how to um, get a LinkedIn resume application. Full course on that. So, these are the things that you're going to get on the iPage Freelancer program. But without wasting too much of your time, let me show you inside of the iPage Freelancer program. This program is like top to the top to the top notch program i'm going to show you inside so that you see that it's not a fluke so we are going straight let me look for the program i have it somewhere here so the ipage freelancer program where are you 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 So we got you, I paid, I paid freelancer program. Boom, this is it. So this is the inside of the I paid freelancer program. This is what you're going to be getting from the high paid freelancer program. So th this is like the copywriting course that you're going to be getting. So I want to go back. So what you're going to be getting in the I paid freelancer program are as follows. When you purchase the IP freelancer program you're going to get access to the working area of the IP freelancer program and you're going to get like this is the welcome video welcome to the IP freelancer program this is a welcome video you're going to get access to the HPF premium program in this place you'd be able to see where you can acquire foreign businesses they'll teach you about the upwork mastery they'll teach you about LinkedIn they'll teach you about Facebook client acquisition they'll give you uh, templates to message people also, you can get five high income skills. You'll get the key cast copywriting course. You'll get the high income skill to content writing and marketing crash course. You would also get the full stack digital marketing course. You would also get the full stack um, the social media marketing course. You'd also get a UI UX designers course for beginners. So as a free bonus, you get access to join the support group, which is a telegram group. You would get uh, you get access to how to get your first client, your first foreign client in two weeks. Free report on how you can get your first client in two weeks or less. The bonus is closer secrets and close more deals. How you can close more deals with asking the right questions. You're also going to get as a bonus the zero to two thousand dollar challenge. You're also going to be shown how to open three foreign bank accounts as extras. You can click here to join the Telegram channel where people who have paid for this are inside you're also going to get a freelance accelerated market class all of this currently if you're getting this program today being the 29th today being the 30th of um, august till 7th of september you'll be getting it for 25,000. all of this how you can receive your money at black market rates currently when this was put the black market rate of 577 but currently today is 700 naira you're also going to get the q a sessions that have been held previously so let's go to the part b of the program this is the part b all of this is just twenty five thousand naira currently but the price is going to be fifty thousand naira by 7th of september if you do not get in like right now then you are missing out on this so you're going to get the mindset program you're going to they talk about reaffirming your mind you're going to get the million mind, million mindset affirmations the upwork mastery course like this is showing you how to really get the most out of Upwork. How to sign up on Upwork and get approved. Very important. You need to know how to sign up on Upwork and get approved because most of the time when you sign up on Upwork, they just act their magic. So you, everything you need to know about navigating Upwork and including setting up your payment method. So after you have learned how to create a foreign bank account, you need it to set up your payment method, right? So you have... Um, more videos here so i don't know why this video is okay this is it does come up you have more videos here how to set up a five-star profile on upwork you get how to set up a five-star profile on upwork 
everything you need to know about navigating Upwork, how to set up five type of on Upwork, model 2.2, like how to set a proposal, like working proposal that can get you a job, submitting winning job proposals on Upwork, adding interviews, like how to talk in interviews, Facebook client acquisition system, funnels, groups that you can join, messaging and commenting on Facebook intelligently, closing deals in the DM, content creation for Facebook. You can still use this as content creation for LinkedIn as well. How to find clients on Facebook groups, the agreeable of them, <laughs> LinkedIn outbound masterclass, the building your network on LinkedIn, personal strategies on LinkedIn, LinkedIn resume application, how to create a resume, cover letter on LinkedIn, resume breakdown on LinkedIn, extras, creating up a mock-up portfolio. This is what I mentioned previously. Create up a mock-up portfolio on LinkedIn. Like this is so much value that even 50,000 naira is a no-brainer. But if you're getting in, today being the 30th to the 7th of September, you get in for 25,000 naira. This course goes up to 50,000 naira on the 7th of September. By 7th of September, you will no longer get this course for either 25,000 naira or 35,000 naira, but you'll be getting it for 50,000 naira. To cap this up, I want to show you the support group where over 2,000 people have paid to be part of this program. So let's go to my Telegram. Let's go to my Telegram here. I'm going to show you. So we are going straight to the groups. So as you can see, IP Freelancer Premium Program Support Group. So as you can see, we have 2,000. We have 2,127 members currently. So as you can see, a lot of people are here. Also, let me show you some results of people who have made it with this program. So as you see, 2,127 people. So if I go to the and I tap on, I search for congratulations. Search on congratulations. You're going to see like a lot of people that have made money. I started to work with you, confirming to 25 pages to transcribe. This is a transcription job on link on Upwork was today. This is today, 30th of August, today. So we are going to go more, more, more. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations. So this is 28, two days ago. Professional content writer, content writer with knowledge. Another job, the same person. So as you can see, a lot of people are getting jobs. Congratulations, congratulations. First gig landed on Upwork. The privilege chief, but congratulations. A lot of people are getting gigs with this group and you too can get group. Okay, for people that are asking, you that are saying people are getting gigs, have you get, gotten your own gigs? Oh yeah, wait, let me show you my own gigs. So this is my account and my salary has not yet come in for this month as we are, it's seven to nine hours ahead of the US. So this is the amount I was paid last month. Even if that I made 300 and something, 300 and something dollars this month. For last month, let's say last month, I was paid $1,500, but this, accounts as like a one percent surcharge where you a one percent surcharge where they will charge you for one percent of any money that comes in so as you can see this is where i withdrew i withdrew some amount of money some time ago and i just have like 16 dollars left in the balance so you see that this is not a fluke this is the name i want you today be double so this is account this account is one of the accounts that you'll be taught how to open I showed you my PayPal, but that's for another day. This is one of my accounts that I used to collect money from the abroad working for foreign businesses. So as you can see, my bank account number, Wells Fargo, you see the current rate of the currency is 678. This is what I get for $1,000 will give me 678,000 Naira. And um, wow, the dollar is now bigger than the Euro. This is sad. But anyways, this is my account and that's it. So here's the good news. If you're watching this webinar and it's not yet 7th of September, you are in luck. You would get access to this program for 25,000 naira. Everything that I have shown you in the previous video. But if you feel like this is not something that you need, you can skip it. 
and get access to it after 7th of September for 50,000 Naira. Because from 7th of September, the price of this program is going to go to 50,000 Naira. Now, let me reiterate so that you'll be like, I want you to really listen to this very carefully. From today being 30th of August to 7th of September, the price of this program is going to be 25,000 Naira. The price of the IP freelancer program is going to be 25,000 Naira. And this offer lasts till 7th of September. And after 7th of September, the price is going to go to 50,000 Naira. Reason being that they are going to add, they're going to add new courses. We are going to add a, a certificate where you'll be getting a certificate. So if you get in for 25,000 Naira, you'll be getting a certificate and you'll be getting you'll be able to track your progress on each of the programs that you decided to learn. But if you do not get in and you get it for 50,000 Naira, you'll be getting it more expensive than you should have gotten in now. So get in now for 25,000 Naira instead of waiting till after 7th of September to get into the program. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for visiting and watching this webinar. I hope you found it valuable. And this is even more than 1,000 Naira that you paid for. See you inside the program.